Hola amigos, ¿qué tal? Stuart here from Spain Speaks, going to do another walk around video, this time today coming to you from Cuenca, the province of Cuenca, and behind me I have a very important monastery, but there are other important things to see in this town, so uh, let's start the walk. So the town today is called Ucles, and it is, as I said, in the province of Cuenca, not far away from Cuenca City, and uh, this is an important town, or it was an important town, not so much today because there's not many people here currently, but we're gonna go for a walk into the main part of the town, check out how people live in this part of Spain, and uh, we'll also every now and again have a look back at these magnificent buildings that have been here for a long time. Castles, monasteries, and the like. So here we are, Ucles, as you can see, and uh, let's get a look at the map of what we've got. So there are a few things to see in this town. I don't know whether we'll see all of them today, but we've got a, a square church, we've got uh, the town hall building, a couple of other places there, some important houses, a fuente, a fountain, the monastery of course, the fort and the walls, and uh, all these things here. And uh, this is the entrance to that monastery, which has been here for a long time with an important history, as I said. So let's continue the walk. We'll go down here. First thing I see is a broken bench. Seen better days. The wood hasn't been treated and uh, leading to that decay. Now let's go for a walk down this street here. I might come back this way because the town goes down the hill. Like most places here in Spain, there's a castle or a monastery, in this case, up on top of the hill, an old fort, and then the town goes down to where I imagine the town hall building is. But we'll go for a walk down this street here and just check out part of this fort or castle or whatever it was. And this is a town which has had civilization after civilization establish themselves here. Curtains in the doorway, also typical here, and bars on the windows, just in case somebody had the idea to break in. Now here's the wall of this castle or fortress, or whatever it was back in the day. Magnificent structure. And as I said, history upon history upon history. From what I've read, the first settlers here were Celt Iberians, and then of course came the Romans, and then of course came the Muslims, and then the Christians, who still remain today. And this, of course, was set up here back in the day to defend this town. Magnificent structure. But it ends here. So I'm going to have to go back down this way. Now, I imagine this is a tourist town. There are tourist buses parked up there. So I imagine that uh, tourists are coming here quite frequently, all for the monastery and for whatever else this town has to offer. And I also imagine that agriculture is an important aspect of this town. The fields around here look very green fertile and I'm sure lots of produce is grown around this area here. These are fertile lands as I said. So there's the monastery. We'll come back to that at the end of the video but I want to check out the town because the purpose of these videos as you guys know is to check out life in these small towns all over Spain. Madrid community, Castilla La Mancha here, Cuenca, and other cities that I visit. So we can get an idea of the views up here, looking down over the town. These houses look to be quite modern, not sure. We'll check out some of the other houses and some of the other constructions in this area. There's a door over here, so we'll go through here and we'll check out the side view of the monastery. Puerta de la Carrera, or Clés. So going down there. So let's just walk through here quickly and get an idea of what we're dealing with. 
Yeah, so there's construction work going on. They're obviously rebuilding this staircase here. Don't know when this was started. A lot of construction work going on here, and I imagine that because this is of national interest, this place here, not only for tourism purposes, but also for other patrimonial reasons, they uh, keep these places in fairly good nick. So let's go out, check out the town. Let's go. Down the hill. So going down means that we've got to come back up because I parked at the top. And we'll just have a brief look at the monastery when I get back up to the top. Now there's a path that way which will go around the monastery. I'm not going to take. I just want to check out the way people are living in this town. Not a soul to be seen. I think the population here is around 250 people. But today, Wednesday, not sure of what the exact date is, I'll just check on my phone. But I think it's around the 18th of October, the 18th of October, 2023, walking down these streets here. And you would think that this town is abandoned, but it is not. There are people here. Are they working today? Most likely. As I said, probably in agriculture. Maybe there's some shops down here as well. We'll go and check it out. This is the typical type of housing here. Garden, fig tree, other plants there. And there's the view up here of that monastery. So if you're living in one of these places, you've got these views here. Now I found life. Somebody's cleaning. All right, this looks to be the main square in the town. So we've got four, five cars parked over here. We've got a museum. We've got a restaurant, so I imagine at weekends this place gets full of people, and we've got a church. Whitewashed houses, all fairly similar looking, which is good. Let's go and check out here this uh, sign and see what it says. So it's the fourth centenary of Cervantes, the writer, and here it is in Spanish. So we can see where we're located here in Cuenca, or the uh, Castilla-La Mancha Autonomous Community. Cuenca City, can't see it on the map here, but it's not far away. Let's see if we've got anything on this side here. Yeah. So Albacete, Ciudad Real, Cuenca, Guadalajara, Toledo. Those are the five provinces of Castilla-La Mancha. And uh, this is the church here. We'll see if we can find some information about this church. There's a sign up over here. 2016 they celebrated something. The coronation, coronación canónica Virgen de las Angustias, Patrona de Eucles. So that's the patron saint, Virgen de las Angustias. And Coronación Canonica, I think she was given some type of status amongst the Catholic Church. But don't quote me on that because I'm not an expert on Catholic history. I should know more, but I don't. So there's no sign up outside this church giving its historical value. We've got the monastery looking down at us from up there and we'll keep on walking not a soul to be seen even in the main square except for a bloke that just went into the pharmacy now we've got a statue over here let's go and check out who it was well let's go and check out who it is i should say what 
we go here. Pelayo Quintero Aturi. So I think he was born here, 1867. This gentleman here. Maybe some type of scholar, not sure. Noisy van. Just gonna check out if there's anything more to see. Now I think this is the town hall building. Maybe the post office, not sure. Ayuntamiento de Ocles. There we go. Let's have a look. We'll go through here. We'll go down to the bottom down there where those ladies are having a conversation. And we'll check out if we can find anything else in this town, any other businesses. I only saw two bars, or two restaurants, and a pharmacy. But I have seen life. I've seen six people in this town today. Now, now getting a view of what I've got to go back up to. So it's going to be a bit of a hike back up to the top. But let's go down here and see if we can find another business. And I will say that this is one of the quietest towns that I've found in my travels around Spain doing the small town videos so far. Only, as I said, six people, but uh, I'm sure if you came here at the weekend, there would be more people on the street. So I'd like to think that was the case. What do we got down there? Not a lot going on. Not a lot going on down that way either. Interesting architecture here. What's this here? The Casa Rural. So this is uh, some type of accommodation. And if you're gonna come and spend maybe a weekend here, maybe a, a day, if you were passing through Spain and you wanted to check out this town, that's where you would stay, I imagine. Conversation going on between those two ladies there. One lady standing over the top of the other one. <laughs> Quite an animated conversation, I will say. Let's go and check out this wall here. All right, here we go. Now apparently this fountain over here where this woman is getting some water, there is some type of, there is some type of story to it. There's the walls that lead into the city. So I'm going outside the city now. I'm gonna check out this water. So if we have a look at this map here, this is the Puerta del Agua Fuente de los Cinco Caños. So let's see where we are on here. And uh, let me have a look here. Number eight. So this is where we are currently. So let's go and check it out. So basically, this is where the town begins. And we can see here from outside, there's that accommodation. There's also some type of wine association there, Viti Vinicola de Ucles. So this might be a wine growing area. We've got a map over here, nothing there. There is a thing called the Camino de Ucles. So this is also some type of pilgrimage, I think. And here's the water coming down. Where from, I've got no idea. But we can see here that an abundant source of water, maybe coming from a river around here, not sure exactly where. Now I think this water can be drunk. Yes. All right, now, I'll go back in here and I'll chuck a left and work my way around the side and see if there's anything else to see. Let's see if that conversation is still going there. Yes, it is. All right, cat colony over here. Getting some sun. More cats over here. <laughs> Three cats here, two over there. No, 
three cats over there, three cats here, six cats. I tell you what, there's absolutely no stress at all in this town. I reckon you wake up here in the morning, you plan your day, buy some bread, have a cup of coffee, some toast, maybe around 11, 12 you head up to the local bar, have a drink, have lunch, siesta, and that's about it. Not a lot going on. What do we got over here? So another old building, Plata del Conde de Cerillo. Calle Isabel I de Castilla. So the street's named after some important people. Let's go up this street here. Learn a driver. And there we've got that castle or the wall or whatever you want to call it in the background. Now, another important building here, I think. Let's have a look what it is. Uh, what I will say is that all of the important historical monuments are marked and they tell you the name of the building. They don't tell you much about the history, so you're going to have to look that up yourself. But we can see here that this is the Casa Solariega de los Torres. Again, an important building in the town, I imagine. Let's continue walking. These barren streets. Maybe the weather's got something to do with the fact that not many people are out and about today. It's not cold, it's windy. Around 18 degrees. I've got shorts on still, actually. We'll go down here. No, we won't. We'll continue up here. And we'll just try and get back up to the top. So, I haven't seen any more businesses. Apart from the pharmacy in those two bars that we saw before. Get an idea of how windy it is there with that olive tree blowing. All right, now. So I think I've got a choice of either going up there, which could be a potential dead end. I don't think there's too much more to see in the town. Just go down here quickly and for curiosity sakes. Yeah, not much else going on down here. Can't see anybody at all. So we'll go back up to that main square. The cat down there. So cats, I've seen more cats than people. In Ucles. More cats than people. All right, back up into the main square. I start my ascent back to the monastery. Let's go. Actually, we'll go up here on the other side of the town. Actually, we'll go up here on the other side of the church. Well-kept streets, so the council spending money to keep the place looking good. This is the back of the church, I think. Yeah, so less people here than before. Bit of noise going on over there. But apart from that, pretty dead. And there's that Camino there, or Cles, and also the 
Santiago walk as well. You can get your stamps if you're doing that. So pilgrims might come through here. Now, apparently there's a wine shop somewhere. Don't know exactly where it is. I think it's down there, but I'm not going to go down there. I'm going to work my way back up to the the top. So uh, let's go. So the views of the town of Ucles. The uh, typical roof in this part of Spain. The typical town, I would say, also. Turn the camera around, and the impressive monastery to my left. Let's go for a walk around it. There's a pathway, so I can imagine it can be done. Although you might need to come in here with the whippersnipper and get rid of these weeds. But anyway. Alright, so here's the other side of the monastery. Again, a very, very impressive building. And the views from up here also impressive. So a little bit of the history of this monastery, the Monastery of Santiago de Ucles in the Spanish town of Ucles in the Castile La Mancha region was built by the Order of Santiago whose main headquarters was in this town. So the main headquarters were here. The history, the hill on which the monastery now stands was the site of a Celt-Iberian Castro, a bronze age fortress used by the native Celts in 893. Alfath ben Musa den di forced to withdraw from Toledo, uh, came here uh, and made this town his home and capital of the region. So that was after the uh, Celts, the Muslims came through here. Obviously there were Romans uh, in that time as well. Uh, but don't quote me on that. And of course, the uh, Reconquista, when the Christians took back the country from the Muslims, they uh, also set up this monastery here, basically rubbing it in the face of the uh, Muslims, I think, with these uh, Christian symbols. But again, don't quote me on that. So an important town, Ucles, from a historical point of view. Let's continue the walk. And another important historical fact about this monastery is that during the Spanish Civil War, it was used as a prison. So it also has that uh, history or dark history as well, if you like. So uh, plenty of history over the centuries in this town. And whenever I see buildings like this, I think about the poor souls that had to put all of those big stones in place. It must have been a tough job because this building is huge. So, coming back around to the, I think the main entrance, we'll see if we can get another view from up here. You can see those flat lands, those flat Castilian lands. And you can see for miles and miles out there Yeah, and this is the, the reason, and there's the wall that went all around this city back in the day, which you can only see parts of now. But as I said, they've uh, done a fairly good job on the maintenance, which must cost a pretty penny. So, tour bus, as I said. This is a tourist place. There are signs on the main highway pointing this place out and uh, tourist buses coming here on a regular basis, I imagine, to walk around this building. So I'm not sure how long it would take to 
to see all of the ins and outs of this place, but the sheer size of it, it must take a while. And here's the other side of that castle or fortress. Let's have a look down here. That's the road that you come up on to get here. And here's the maintenance that's going on, which, as I said, must just take years and years to do all of these things. But somebody has a job. This uh, state patrimony or state assets as these buildings are. Now, you've got to pay to go in. There's a turnstile over there, so I'm not going to pay. But we'll just have a look here at the, the main entrance. Let's have a look. So there's a shop and different buildings here. Interesting. Interesting. But as I said, I'm not going to pay. That's for another day. So, on that note, I'm going to wrap this video up, this walking tour of Ulclés. Hope you enjoyed it. Questions and comments, please leave them in the section below. Debate the video out as you normally do. If you've got a place that you would like me to take a walk around, let me know in that comment section. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. See you in the next one. Hasta luego.